back to the DAX this morning. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you not seen me before, my name is Langers, and I am the very knackered scruffy trader. It's currently 10 to 7. Uh, I've been waiting for the DAX to show its hand, which it's kind of getting there now. And we're about to flip the screens on and go to market. Okay, so I'll just flip these over and we'll have a chat. So what is it we're doing? Well, if you haven't been following the series, it's really to build up a small account with one trade before you go to work. When you're looking to get into the market between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. in the morning. This is UK time, by the way, guys. Uh, I live in the UK. And get a minimum of 10 pips. Now you can do five and five, but the idea is to do it once for 10. The DAX is one of those markets. Uh, you'll often see it as the German 30 on some brokers, uh, German 40 rather, as it is now. Um, that can do 10 pips really quickly. Now, the more you get, the better, but it's a benchmark to make the trade worthwhile. Now, at the moment, we are sort of into this on eight trades we did have a scratch trade so you could technically say nine um, but of the trades that opened because the uh, the one that was scratch it didn't pick the order up and left us behind uh, but we're 100 percent on the eight that it did pick up one it's grown by 24 percent and i put an arbitrary target in of a thousand pounds just doubling the account and it's a forward test for about 50 trades so at the moment I'm quite pleased I'm compounding as I go uh, if you've never done compounding before uh, it's kind of worked off that compounding plan because I compound the bid size rather than the balance and then when it's all complete it'll become a wage maker and the wage makers are kind of a roadmap to your wage pretty much as it says it is okay so that's the state of play we're at 71p a position to go and what are we looking to achieve this morning well if i just widen this out we're at five minutes we are looking to go up long side to catch the top of this section here so if i'm looking for 10 pips if i just put a measuring tool in and pull that down and just put that box there that's kind of my last point of entry if you like for it to spike up that's the general gist uh it looks reasonably okay oh got me coffee i was gonna say it looks something reasonably okay but that always looks okay <laughs> so let me see what's going on now the volatility spikes all the time uh, there'll be a one due at about 10 minutes time but i'm going to start putting an order in just to see if we can spike this up and grab our 10 pips now ideally it won't take too long so what i'll do is i'll let the camera run as a single shot you'll see the orders go in and then when i'm finished i'll come back and have a little chat with you
Okay, guys, uh, done. Bit of a roller coaster this morning, but it stayed within the boundaries. Because uh, that's one thing I'm a great believer in. You set kind of a trading arena, if you like, and you, you keep within it. And the criteria was still there. But like most things, the market will try and shake you out. Now, it looks bad. Or it looked bad money-wise. But actually, in the movement, it's not too bad at all. Um, and the, these are things you've got to be prepared for. Because the market will try and shake you out all the time. And that's why tight stops are a waste of time. You know, they're just going to cut you to ribbons all the time. So instead of being into the market five, six times to then get your move, I prefer just to sit in it and do it once. I won't trade five or six times. I'll trade once, but I'll manage the trade, if that makes sense. So let's have a look and see what it's give us. Well, let's give us uh, 23.79. Considering we're only looking for around 10 pips, that's three times more than we needed. And if you look at this, the kind of target and was the tops of here, obviously he adjusted it a bit before eight o'clock. Uh, see if we can squeeze out a little bit more. It's starting to stall, and I thought that was kind of the upper point it was going to. It had a go, but it didn't quite get there, and it's now pushing away. So targeting was pretty much right. So let's have a look, see where we're up to. So we were long today. I am knackered. I must admit this getting up at sort of 20 to 6 in the morning, grabbing a coffee, trying to pull yourself together and then work the charts out was killing me. I personally prefer to start at about, well, start trading at 9 o'clock after the open. You know, I get up, you got plenty of time to con conduct yourself but for the sake of this uh, I'll suffer it it's a little bit like the health kick that Winky's got me on at the moment it's not good it's not going well boys and girls except the girls are on her side this is not good you know where's the equality shouldn't I have like a set of cheerleaders or something oi I'm talking about you and all are you listening I am Count. <laughs> you need to be healthy. She got me playing badminton today. Badminton, me. God's sake, what a woman! Right, sorry. Twenty-three seventy-nine. I was nearly off on one. Right, so from a bad position into thirty-three pips, ticks, points, whatever you want to call them, uh, in profit. It added three, well, nearly 4% to the balance today, just by holding your nerve. And it has rocketed up our percentages. So we're at 28% of the initial balance, and we've not lost an open trade. And a lot of it is just pre-planning. Set your boundaries as to where you want the price to be. As long as it stays within that, sit in the heat you know because it's going to come into one of them it's either going to hit your upper balance or it's going to hit your lower and and it's that but just do your due diligence before you go into market make a bias and stick with it uh, that's all i've been doing very very simple simple stuff so there we are for another day i'm quite pleased with that we'll be at it again tomorrow um hopefully this will continue like i say it's a forward test for about 50 trades just to see if this sort of setup is working and at the moment everything's fine it did very well in the back testing but there is a big difference between back testing and forward testing because in back testing it, it's always perfect conditions you can kind of see where you should get in see where you get out hindsight is a wonderful thing it's kind of why i don't like trading view when i'm seeing sort of traders going oh i did this and it's always a trading view where it can be rolled back to whatever they don't actually show you in the moment 
Now, when I'm trading, it's in the moment. I have got no idea what is going to happen in the next hour. I've made a, an analysis and I've got a fair judgment, but what will actually happen, I don't know. Why? Because it's the future and none of us can read the future, you know, but we can all read the past and that's why I don't like trading view. Um, that's it. I'll do this again tomorrow. So as always, if you're stuck, go in the description. Uh, you find some useful links. There's good brokers there. There's the Black Bull 500 to 1 leverage at the time of the video. If you put some money in it, trade it. I'll give you a little bit of my time in the form of a, a one to one call. Um, just a little bit of value. There's 5% discount off the prop fund that I use. So that'll get you well on the way if you're stretching your pennies. And the 5% is are excellent. They're now introducing commodities into the marketplace. So it's not only Forex, you can do gold and silver on that as well now. And finally, the Scruffy Squad. If you truly want a community that is not full of bullshit, just good guys looking for a single direction, check the Scruffs out and you'll have a laugh as well as learn how to do things properly so as always guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one